Hello, welcome back. Uh, notice that in the last video we discussed about basic scenario and then we, we discussed about the disadvantages of basic scenario and instead we say that maybe the scenario should have been like this we should have a time when all these users are going to run the v user init script or maybe the login script all right and that period is called ramp up period so this is called ramp up so users are going to ramp up okay and after that once the, all the users are going to ramp up they are going to go to the run state and this is what we call a steady state okay so this is the steady state and after they finish all those things that is there in the action multiple times then they are going to go to the ramp down that means they will gradually exit the test so this is what is kind of a real world scenario real world scenario in the real world scenario you simulate the users to ramp up run steady state and then ramp down and essentially whenever you want to take your measurement you want to take the measurement at this time at a steady state because you cannot claim at this time you have all the 40 user test so the results analysis and everything should be done at steady state interval so therefore the more the steady state interval the better the result is so generally what i do you know some kind of test i may be going to going to going to uh, ramp the users up in 15 minutes is again depends on how many number of users are running and what kind of ramp up things can be supported and so on so it all depends on how many number of users we are running and what kind of system against which you are running your test so there are a lot of parameters are there but in my case if i am going to do a ramp up in 15 minutes then i am going to run for a steady state for one hour to execute then i then i should have then i would have a steady state window of one hour then another for 15 minutes or sometimes i stop them gradually because i don't really care what's going on here the data that i'm interested is steady state once i get a good steady state interval then either i can i can st stop them gradually or i would i will just stop immediately okay so so this is the kind of scenario that we want to do so here is a question that you now going to simulate 40 users and out of this 40 users 20 users are going to run the browse lesson browse lesson so this is 20 users and then we are going to have another 20 users going to run quiz attempt okay and then these users are going to all these 40 users are going to start it let's say there's a, there's a timeline and i want to start them in say um, you know 40 users let's say i want to start them in 10 minutes okay so this is 10 minutes and then i'm going to start all those 40 users at 10 minutes then i'm going to have a steady state window let's say for one hour so this is one hour steady state and this is your 10 minute okay and after that i'm going to stop all those users in another 10 minutes okay so this is 10 minutes okay so that is my goal my goal is to start the user to run for you know wrap the user in 10 minutes run for one hour and stop it 10 minutes so how do i do that so so let's 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 build a scenario using load runner controller so here i am going i am started a new scenario and it's going to start a manual scenario and then go to browse and then click on browse lesson and then say okay and uh, you know I, I need to run 20 of this right so basically if you see if you look at this thing 20 browse lesson and then i'm going to have 20 browse lesson and 20 quiz attempt users so go here and then change here to 20 okay so 20 and then also i'm going to add another group and that is you know quiz right attempt quiz so go here and quiz attempts open and then here i can change the number of users to 20 okay so now we have 40 users and also what i'm going to do i have some other uh, you know choice that these 40 users are going to start in 
10 minutes that means I am going to start 4 users per 1 minute so I go to this configuration go to start view user and start view user let's double click and we going to start 4 users in every 1 minute so 0 1 0 0 ok so if you apply this so now you look the graph that you are starting 4 users in steps of in every 1 minute so therefore at 10 minute we have all this 40 users and 20 users of them 20, 20 of them are doing browse lesson and 20, and the remaining 20 are attempting quiz all right and then what is it going to do we're going to run this thing for one hour so double click this and then you see two options and in my up in my case we're going to run it for one hour so let's configure to zero one zero zero and apply okay so now this is your scenario so 10 minutes they're all going to ramp up run for one hour and then you will stop like basically currently uh, like you know, they're stopping at five users in every 30 seconds let's configure that say so five users in every 60 seconds or one minute so sorry four users say so four users and let's change this thing to zero one so this is how your scenario is going to look like going to start then run for steady state then stop all right so this is how you will design a real life scenario so 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 what i'm suggesting you here is to check all this kind of configuration options okay and then there are infinite and then there are n number of permutations you can have and then by using this using this configuration you can graphically see what is actually going on so so far so this is how you're going to design a real life scenario and you save you store this thing you, you save this scenario and then run this case for 40 users all right thank you